Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's lecture. My name is Hadi. Today I'm going to talk about the structures and I will make a program for a structure to know it more. So guys, what's the structure? This is also a data structure. This is not uh, like uh, array to uh, that all variables must be of same data type, but in the structure you can have multi data types just like uh, you can also have integer you can also have uh, uh, float you can also have uh, char uh, in C++ uh, tutorial I didn't talk about the string uh, data type and also um, bool data type which is also called boolean and in today's lecture I will cover those things also so a structure is also collection of different or heterogeneous data types but uh, array was collection of same data type so this is different from array but they do they both do the same job both are the data structure you can save as much as data that you want but uh, in just only one structure so guys uh, this is the syntax of uh, struct or structure first you are going to write the struct and you are going to have a name here what's your structure's name then you are going to write the variables inside this for example you can have uh, integer id you can have uh, a string name you, ha you can have uh, 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 integer age these things as much as you want different data types and here you have an object through this object you can call them through this object you can call each you can access each of these variables so let's go through an example I will just try to make uh, this example this is a kind of pro pro program the says I extract its name is EMP or employee it has an uh, integer employee ID, character E name, floats all floats age, integer main. So let's just go through the example. Uh, let me just open the div C. So uh, this one, this struct should be called, uh, defined outside the main function. Uh, uh, struct, I'm going to have it as emp, emp employee and see by default this is going to write a semicolon here so inside this uh, an employee can have id which is integer integer id it can have uh, age so this is also uh, integer type so i will write it here then name here i'm going to write as a string you can also have as a char a character string name string name so guys uh, let's forget this for, uh, now let's just write this is id this is age these things uh, they can also have so uh, let's make an object for this we are going to write the name object name as b it means we can access this id and ages through the b so let's go in main function uh, now if i want to access the id i have to write b so uh, right now I just want to display an output for a message for the user. I'm going to say that enter, enter ID of employee, ID of employee, and then oh one thing else. Let's just uh, have a char type of names but name should be an array to take uh, multiple characters inside this so this should be an array of uh, linear array i'm just going to say 10 so now enter id of employee so you can just take it to cn b you can use dot or you can also use uh, mm, this option also both are same uh, you can just access them through this one so here I'm going to first because this is the ID I'm going to read ID now it's going to take the ID 
and then I just want this to display that enter uh, name of employee employee mm, backslash n yeah also I will use backslash n so now I should take a true cn b you can also use dot or you can also use minus this option now I'm going to take a name so then I'm just going to um, display enter i age of employee so let's take the input b dot i age it's okay now for displaying i'm just going to write c out c out employee backslash n then I'm just going to write uh, uh, first it's, it's high ID should be displayed so I'm just going to write it B ID after that backslash T then again B next uh, this time its name should be displayed after that backslash t it spaces then b uh, h done then end up in line so let's just compile it uh, uh, we has none printer type emp oh. oh 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 sorry sorry i don't know what happened so i'm just going to use it as dot uh, yeah dot yes uh, I will discuss later why it's giving me error now I'm just going to use dot instead of this so to access all those things so let's just compile it right now uh, enter ID of employee. What was the ID? I'm going to say 23 and enter name of employee. Name is Ahmed. And uh, what's the age of employee? 67. Employee ID 23. Ah, name Ahmed and age is 67. This was uh, the structure. The structure and this object. Sometimes, if you want to have uh, more. Uh, employees this is this is for one employee so I made one object but for 100 employee you can use a, a object of type array for example I say 500 it means we have 500 employees and uh, each time I just can do all of them through for loop while loop do loop do while loop uh, so I can use this array also by b of 0 I'm going to take the data of employee 0 by taking the employee second employee I'm just going to write the object of b1 so by using array you can uh, write uh, you can access all the, uh, you can just store the employee of all those employees who are inside the uh, company so guys this was about the, the structure uh, uh, see you in the next lecture and thanks for watching